Ahoy, ye mateys! Welcome back to the 50th episode of my full game walkthrough, which is also the 31st episode I am filming on my buccaneer. I got a new stitch to celebrate coming to Marleybone. So last episode, we successfully arrived in Marleybone in search of our old pirate friend Catbeard, who we are told has a piece of Marco Polo's map. Catbeard has been locked up in a prison, and the only person who is allowed to see him is his lawyer, Mr. Swidget. Mr. Swidget agreed to help us get in to see Catbeard if we can help his nephew who has fallen in with a bad lot. So today we are going to rescue his nephew from the gang that he has gotten himself involved with. And uh, before we go find Nigel Swidget, let's just pick up the rolling stone right here. So we found the one in I Love Dog. There's another one in Barclay Square. Two, three, four. Marley Bone is not that long of a world compared to Mushu. My pirate as of right now is level 53, and I'm really looking forward to level 55. Because that's when I'll be able to equip my schemer's eye patch and other gear I've been saving to use. This warehouse looks pretty disreputable. Must be the place. <laughs> well, come on, then. Let's thrash this lot, grab the tadpole, and be done with it. <laughs> tadpole. Oh yeah, so last episode, um, I was also experimenting with I was also experimenting with a hybrid uh, build because my pet happened to get burst fire and at that time I was just playing around with burst fire 1. I decided that I liked it enough to invest in burst fire 2 for now and if I don't like it I can switch back. I am recording this episode in October uh, which is Pirate 101's birthday month. And in celebration of Pirate 101's birthday, uh, members get free practice point resets until the end of the month. So if I don't like the Burst Fire 2 build, I can always switch back to Pure. But for now, Hybrid is a little bit faster just for questing purposes. Good job, Bonnie! Bonnie is gonna get a really good promotion quest in Marleybone. She comes from the land of Albion, which is sort of like uh, Ireland or Scotland uh, in relation to England. Where we are right now is uh, England. Well, in Marleybone, but yeah. <laughs> the land of the dogs. Alright. Hybrid is a very aggressive build. Um, it requires giving up the Spooky 2 line of talents, which are the prerequisite for Witch Hunter. And I feel like Witch Hunter is kind of important versus uh, Witches, but I don't know. And also against privateers who use the uh, Soul Shroud strategy. So I don't know if I want to stay, if I want to keep the hybrid build. We'll see. Actually, it's more efficient for me to go for an agility based unit.
<laughs> Burst fire is pretty high accuracy too. Go Toro. Oh, come on. That was so close though. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye, radical hound. Oh, I didn't draw a guaranteed hit. Well, let's just do a let's just do a basic hit then. Aww. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to wearing my schemer's eye patch at level 55. <laughs> Go, Burgess. Yep, now you get a vengeance strike. Where's that little frog? Who the devil are you people? Do you know whose place you just broke into? We're aware of that. We're looking for a young frog. Just hand him over and we'll be off. <laughs> oh, is that all? Well, in that case, a place is with you. Oh my goodness. Gangs are usually very reluctant to give up their members. <laughs> that guy's last name is Sykes. <laughs> like Bill Sykes from uh Bill Sykes from Oliver Twist. That's annoying. Stop it. My units are level 50 right now. Okay. That guy does not have cheap shot, right? Bonnie retreat. Actually no, these guys can shoot her anyway, so she should just heal herself. Oh my 
gosh. Oh, it's okay. At least with the membership benefit celebration, I can just heal Bonnie for free. Normally, you would have to wait a couple of hours for them to be fully healed or pay Miracle Niche. are getting any chains. Alright, there we go. That's one downside of the hybrid, is that it can trigger things like quick draw. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, let's play it safe and just focus on this one... Radical Fox. Yeah, Bonnie is actually also a fox, so she belongs to the same uh, place these guys are from, which is Albion. But her values and interests are slightly different, as you'll see when we do her promotion quest. Oh, now I chained down a unit. Oh well. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> Actually, this has more chances to activate chains. The lawyer's nephew left of his own accord. Look, a trap door. The rest of the gang must be down there. Very observant, Bonnie. Excellent. More fighting. <laughs> I mean, uh, quickly, <laughs> after the nephew. <laughs> uh, alright. Let me see. Bonnie is injured, so I can use Barnabas. Wasn't my fault. Could be worse. We could be dancing on the rooftop. <laughs> Surely one of the local sewer folk can be encouraged to tell us the whereabouts of our missing amphibian. <laughs> missing amphibian. Oh gosh, are these all? Okay, two musketeers and two melees. But to put myself in such a spot that I might blade storm on more than one unit. It's an interesting map layout with the water. Hmm. 
Yeah, I wanted to chain down one unit, but my chains <laughs> got distributed. Oh, come on. Burgess missed. I should have had Barnabas back him up. Alright, after this fight, I'm gonna go revive Bonnie. Because I think we really need her scatter blast. Up, Captain. If you're looking for the frog, there's a train room down the way what we use for lying low. Sure, you're born, he's hilarious. Thank you. Okay, let's place a mark here. <laughs> Everybody's ready. Into the foxhole. By the way, there is a rolling stone somewhere in here. Let me check. Oh yeah, I see it. Come on, lads, get them. <laughs> oh, this is a very narrow board layout. I remember this. I don't know why my companions are getting critical hits on things that don't matter. Okay, they don't have cheap shots, that's good. Very smart of these guys to walk into my hold the line.
Yeah. Interesting. He does that when you charge him. Such a dramatic death. No, where is that little frog? You best know this. We're Captain Swing's men. Mess with us and you mess with them. So, who sent you? Black John, the underdog. No, we're just looking for a little Nigel Swidget. Swidget? Who the blaze is dying off? You've gone through a lot of trouble to get here. Hope your life was worth it. <laughs> Gang leader. Oh, she can actually reach all of them. Awesome. Red Fox, by the way, drops some really pretty gear that people like to farm for looks. So like he has the boots, the hat, and the robe. Oh, we have to defeat little Nigel as well? That's sad. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, I feel like you have to charge these guys quickly because they do so much damage, there's really no point in defending.
so I can blade storm up to three times per round, relentless three times per round, and burst fire three times per round. And I also have an additional trigger, which is Vengeance Strike. I think once I get to level 55, might have been 55, I can wear a totem that gives me first strike. So I get an additional trigger for the chains to go off. Okay, now the question is, can we kill them before we die? I'm at 880 health right now. Bonnie is my backup healer, but she's almost dead too. I'm just gonna take the risk. Okay, Bonnie... Bonnie heal me, actually. Yeah, there we go. So now just a little frog left. Thank you for not shooting Bonnie. Yeah, Nigel does not have quick draw, so it's safe for Bonnie to attack. <laughs> if he doesn't die first. Be a pirate now? It's just straight in there from now on. I'll just nip off and tell Uncle Swidget I'm alright then. Uh I'm not exactly a good example of straight and narrow, but okay. <laughs> Swidget, we rescued your nephew. By Jove, you did it! <laughs> I must admit I had my doubts. But I suppose a pirate with your reputation must be of a higher caliber than most. Oh, very honored. I am a frog of my <laughs> I promise to get you in to see Catbeard, and I shall. I I'm afraid Catbeard is in some very hot water. He's accused <laughs> of high treason and more than 500 counts of <laughs> Hanging offenses. 500 counts. <laughs> As such, he's been declared an enemy of the crown, and that means no visitors. However, I've thought about it, and I believe I can get you in to see him. Meet me at Glass House Prison. Oh yeah, well, we are in Barclay Square. <laughs> we should pick up the Barclay Square Rolling Stone. Uh, if I remember correctly, it is... Somewhere around here... Yeah, there we go. Now let's go in to see poor Catbeard. <laughs> this is one of my favorite moments in the story. All right, Captain. I'm going to tell the guard that your colleagues of mine from Port Regal, whom I've asked here to interview the prisoner. Good idea. Corporal, we are here to see the prisoner Catbeard. Oh, who goes there? Good day to you, Corporal. It's me, Solicitor Swidget, uh, to see Mr. Beard. I've brought along these uh, colleagues of mine from Port Regal. They're, uh, experts on the applicable statutes of Port Regal ordinances vis-a-vis -vis Marlebonian common law. I simply cannot do without them. Indeed. I, ex 
expert. That's us. How down you get. Well, I suppose you'll say so is good enough, Mrs. Widget. Go on in. <laughs> I hope this don't take too long. Prisons make me nervous. Oh, I understand, Ratbeard. Catbeard! Captain! Meow meow meow, it's you! Thank the star! <laughs> I'm mortified you have to see me in such a sorry state, but with all of this damp, I simply haven't been able to do a thing with my hair. Completely understandable, Catbeard. I was wondering, would it be possible for you to do an incy wincy chai pitty favor for me? Get me out of here! <laughs> You've got to get me out of here. <laughs> do you understand? I do. Look at what they're making me wear. Do you know what passes for grooming in this place? <laughs> Wait, I know why you're here. A certain map piece? Hmm? Now don't worry, it's safe. I'll tell you exactly where it is. If you secure my freedom. Sounds like a deal. How? My solicitor has a plan. And now that you're here, I think it just might work. Swidget has all the juicy details. All right, come. I am calm. Oh, Captain, <laughs> it's grand to be working together again. What great fun we'll have! <laughs> Poor Catbeard. Her Majesty has issued an emergency decree. Any qualified sailor may be released uh, on parole into the custody of a captain in the Royal Navy. So I have to become a Royal Navy captain. Unfortunately, uh, we haven't been able to find any officer willing to take responsibility for Mr. Beard. His, uh, reputation precedes him. <laughs> I see. But the Admiralty will commission any, uh, civilian captain as an irregular captain of the Royal Navy. Another emergency decree, you see. I see. Go to the High Command and apply for an emergency commission. They're sure to grant you one. Once you have it, you can take custody of Mr. Beard. Thank you very much, Mr. Swidget. Take care, Catbeard. We will be back for you. Don't worry. <laughs> Catbeard suffers a lot in this situation because he has very fancy tastes in food and clothing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Today, we rescued the lawyer's nephew from the gang he had fallen in with, and in return, the lawyer got us in to see Catbeard as he had promised. Catbeard is actually accused of over 500 counts of smuggling and high treason, so it is no easy task to rescue him. Uh, but when we went in to see Catbeard, he did say that if we manage to rescue him, he will give us his piece of Marco Polo's map. So we consulted with the lawyer, Mr. Swidget, and the most realistic way for us to rescue Catbeard would be to take advantage of two emergency decrees uh, in this war situation in Marleybone. The first decree is that any able sailor, even if they are a prisoner, can be released into the custody of a Royal Navy captain. The second decree is that a civilian captain, such as ourselves, can apply to become an emergency Royal Navy captain to help serve in the war effort. So that's what we're going to try to do next. We are going to try to qualify to become a Royal Navy captain. Stay tuned, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching!